Periodic motion and time. Long ago, people measured time according to the movement of celestial bodies in the sky, dividing time into days, months, and years. The sun, the moon, and some stars appeared to move through space periodically over and over again, years after years century after century. Since it did not provide an easy way to measure short periods of time, people invented clocks. A sundial was used to measure the time of the day according to the change in the position and length of the shadow cast by an object due to the change in the position of the sun. But what would they do on a cloudy day? A sandglass or an hourglass was based on the time it took for all the sand from the upper chamber fall into the lower chamber. However, these clocks were neither convenient to use nor so accurate. For a clock to show the accurate time, it must repeat its motion on its own with perfect regularity. One of the first natural repetitive motions that is utilized to make clocks for measuring time accurately is the swing of a pendulum. A pendulum is a weight tied to a string suspended from a support so that it can swing freely. As you displace the pendulum from its rest position and release it, the pendulum swings back and forth from its rest position in repetitive motions. This motion is called oscillation. The most important characteristic of a pendulum is its time period, that is, the time taken to complete one full cycle of its motion. The time period does not depend on the amplitude, its maximum distance from the position of rest. The pendulum completes a large cycle of oscillation in the same time interval as it completes a small cycle of motion. The time period depends on the length of the pendulum and gravity. It is like a child swinging on a taller swing takes a longer time for a complete swing than the one on a shorter swing. On the Earth's surface, a 24.8 cm pendulum has a period of one second. This makes it suitable for a wall clock whose second's hand moves forward. By one second, each time the pendulum completes a cycle. A 99.4 cm pendulum, which is about four times the length of 24.8 cm, takes two seconds to complete one cycle. In a pendulum clock, the period swing of a pendulum is used to determine time. It mainly consists of a pendulum and a wheel with pointed teeth. Each time the pendulum reaches the end of the swing, one point of an anchor releases a tooth of the escape wheel. The wheel rotates for a fixed amount until the other point of the anchor catches a tooth. Thus, the wheel rotates slowly as the pendulum swings back and forth, rotating by one tooth for each cycle of the pendulum. This wheel turns a series of other wheels, which slowly move the clock's hands forward at a constant rate. Thus, the hands of a pendulum clock are actually counting the number of swings of the pendulum. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.